this is the story of how a show with Zay Frank changed my life. Now, if you know the name Zay Frank, then you know the importance of his work as a pioneer in the world of online video. Depending on when you got into YouTube culture, his name might have a different meaning for you. But for me, he will always be the guy that gave me a show with Zay Frank at a time when I most needed it. It was 2012, and at that point I had been aware of YouTube culture for a year. Now when I say YouTube culture, I mean not just knowing that YouTube was a hub for cat videos and viral videos, but it was a place where people could actually make videos to each other and engage as a community. At the time, I was only a viewer of a few vloggers. Now, I had entertained the idea of making videos, but even in 2012, I felt that it was too late to get started. The vloggers I had been watching had amassed huge audiences over the last five years, and I felt that if I were to start now, then I would just be shouting into the void. I also didn't know what kind of videos I wanted to make. I didn't know what I could talk about that hasn't already been said or done hundreds of times by more talented people. I liked making videos as a kid and a little bit in college, but I had no idea how to format one for the YouTube audience. If a show with Zay Frank hadn't come along when it did, I would have continued to be a quiet viewer for the next five years. I would have never jumped into vlogging, and I would have never had the video opportunities that I have now. I remember watching his first episode, An Invocation for Beginnings, one sunny afternoon in April. It hit me like a ton of bricks. Here was this guy who was revered as the father of modern vlogging, and yet he was being openly vulnerable about his fears of beginning again. As an unsure 24-year-old who was also looking to begin again, his word struck home. That video left me excited and hopeful about beginning again, and it also gave me a purpose. Make videos as a way to engage with the community, to create cool things together, and to inspire connection, discussion, and action. I saw Zay doing incredible things with his community in just the first month of a show, and I wanted to do more than be just a passive YouTube viewer. Now around that time, my friend Melissa invited me to join her collab channel. She pitched in a way that made it attractive. She basically said something like, if you're afraid to start your own YouTube channel, try this first. You'd be vlogging with a group of people you already know, and you're always guaranteed to have at least four people who are watching your videos and interested in what you have to say. It would be a safe space for you to practice your video making skills and figure out your style with no expectations, because the only audience is us on the channel. I know that if I hadn't watched a show with Zay Frank when I did, I would have said no. But Zay had lit this fire in me that had been dormant for years, and I enthusiastically said yes. Since then, I have had five years in which to hone my craft, engage with the community, and even go back to school so I could learn how to make higher production videos. I'm now in a position where I have a valuable set of skills and a supportive network to make videos that have real impacts on real people. Because that's what I want to do. I want to make videos that move you the same way that Zay's videos moved me. I would have never began again without a show with Zay Frank, and I owe the last five years of my life to that show. So thank you, Zay, for inspiring me to begin again. Day 20 of Vita, done. 10 more of these to go. You're getting to the finish line, guys. Hang in there.